beginner skincare mistakes that women over 50 make that are easily remedied and probably just about all of us make it no matter what age we are when we're starting out in our skincare. That video and how to fix them is coming up right now. Hi friends, so the video today is all about the mistakes we make when we start out our skincare regimen or even as later on as we're going through and we're trying to tweak things. I have learned so much in the past seven to eight years about skincare and the things that I was doing in the beginning I almost cringe about now, but they are easily corrected and that's what I want to help you with today. We're gonna go over what those mistakes were. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give you super simple ways to correct them. What is really exciting as well is that this video is a giveaway, which I'm really excited about. I've been loving being able to give things to you guys. Two of my Holy Grail products from Suko Yakasuhara. You are gonna get the Urea Moisture Lotion and the Urea Moisture Eye Cream. These are every single day without fail. They are the most lovely, calming, moisturizing, amazing two products that I have in my arsenal. And then you're also going to get this baby, which is this big drunk elephant TLC glycolic body lotion. And this is the one that Mr. Wayne Goss recently talked about in his video. So you're going to be getting all three of these. And so what you need to do is watch this whole video, because if you don't watch this whole video, you're not going to be able to comment what I need you to comment. So I'm going to later on in the video tell you what to comment so that you can win these so then you can comment anything else with it but you have to say these two words in your comment so if you're not watching somewhere in this video yes i know it's a long one but somewhere in this video there's going to be the way for you to win these and you might miss it if you don't watch it and of course you have to be subscribed i would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and ring the, the notification bell so that you can be notified now, this video was inspired by my friend Lisa from Lisa Mo Monique Beauty. She did a video that went absolutely viral about beginner mistakes women over 50 make with makeup. And I just thought this is a perfect title and she did a fantastic job on it. I will link her video below if you haven't had a chance to see it. I wanted to give her the shout out for it because I just took the makeup part and switched it over to skincare. Let's get into this video. First mistake that I I was doing personally and I feel like we all do it is thinking that more is best and it's not necessarily true with skincare now I have a product here from City Beauty and it has a dropper system in it and as you can see that is a pretty small dropper dispenser and when the product comes out there's not very much there look at how little came out there there's not a lot there now when I first started using this I thought that's not enough product, but it really is enough product to go over your face and it really did my decollete and the back of my hands as well. Now, what I feel is so important about this is our skincare can get a little bit pricey. We might be running through it too quickly. We might be having to repurchase it too much. But if you usually use what dispenser they have there in the bottle, you will usually get the right amount for that product. And I learned this from Good Molecules. They had a great post on their Instagram, which I will link below as well. And it showed how much you need. And I was surprised. It was a very small amount. Mistake number two is not exfoliating your skin enough enough. And I was reading an article, I believe it was put out by City Beauty or Allure, I can't remember, one of those two, and it talked about how we have at least eight layers of dead skin and possibly way up into the 20. So eight to 20 layers of dead skin on our face. Now, if we're not exfoliating, we're not being able to get those first few layers off, our skin is gonna look dull and lifeless and it's not going to look beautiful with makeup on it. I do not exfoliate every day. If my skin is doing well, I exfoliate every other day. If I'm having a tough time, and I have exfoliated, I will wait until my skin is calmed down before I go in and exfoliate again. I do have a few exfoliating products. Some of my very, very favorites are the glycolic toners, and I have one from The Ordinary, the glycolic acid 7% toning solution, and then I have one from Good Molecules, the 
glycolic exfoliating toner. I would say that these have about the same amount of exfoliation in them because when I put them on, they feel the same. They give me that tingling feeling. Now, another very popular one is from The Ordinary. This is the AHA BHA peeling solution. This peeling solution is quite hefty. It's got 30% AHA in it. And so if you're gonna get a lot of exfoliating from this. Please read the directions on this. I think it's like two to five minutes that you leave it on and then you wash it off and you really rinse your face with water to kind of balance out or take away all of the exfoliating so that it doesn't continue to happen. Um, City Beauty, this is the Dermal Reset Exfoliating Concentrate. This is one that you can leave on overnight like um, the Baby Facial. I think it's from Drunk Elephant and then Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Those both are uh, pretty much like this one. This one has um, some really great ingredients in it that help to calm as well. I love this one. I can only use this one maybe once a week. And with this one, it's maybe twice a week. Another one that I want to mention is actually a recommendation that Wayne Goss had a whole video on this just the other day. And man, I ran to get this. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Body Lotion. This one, I put it on once a week. So once a week when I go to bed, this will be my exfoliator. But those are the ones that I have that I absolutely love and that I feel like are very, very effective. I guess right now I'm really into exfoliating. Number three mistake that most beginners make is sleeping in their makeup. I cannot begin to tell you how much of a no-no this is. Sleeping in your makeup not only will clog your pores, but as it clogs your pores, it's also going to make your skin look older. You are robbing yourself of the prime time in your day to be able to get the most benefit out of your skincare. Your skin rejuvenates itself at night just like the rest of your body. You know how we're always told we can't go without sleep because that's when the body repairs and rests. That's the same thing for our skin. Our skin is repairing all night long. It's resting. So if it has great ingredients on it and the, those ingredients can sink in because you've taken that makeup off, you're gonna have the best result that you can possibly get from your skincare at night. Now I do want to say that if you have makeup on, you really do need to do a double cleanse because most of our makeup is, is oil based or does have oils and silicones in them. And so you want to take all of that makeup off with a good makeup remover, like a balm. I love the Good Molecules Balm. I love Hada Labo's oil for taking off makeup. Those are all so good. But what happens usually with those is right after that, you can still feel some grease on your skin and you don't want that grease to be on there because it will create a barrier and the skincare that you put on next will not be able to penetrate. So you just need to go in with another cleanser. My very favorite is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to dry skin and I do have dry skin. It does not strip the natural oils off of my skin, but it will get all of the oils that that balm or that cleansing oil has put on. And you do those cleanses and you have your skin all bare and there's no oils and there's no makeup residue, anything on it, then it's in prime shape to receive your other skincare. Number four mistake that I feel like I made big time was not using niacinamide in my skincare. I did not realize what a powerhouse niacinamide is. I watched a video and I will try to find that video from a dermatologist here on YouTube and she talked about the how beautiful niacinamide is for skincare, not just because it brightens. Niacinamide can go in into our pores and just sweep out all that old dead skin, the dirt, the makeup, everything, but it goes deep. The other reason that I feel like it's such a powerhouse ingredient is it can be combined with almost any other skincare ingredient. You know, there are certain ingredients that don't go well with each other because they fight against each other. You know, there you were told not to use vitamin C maybe with another active like glycolic acid because they can be kind of making the skin more irritated. Niacinamide is not like that. It really acts well with just about everything, including retinols, vitamin C, our glycolics, all of those things it does really well with. And the only one that I use because I have seen fantastic results from is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner, which has licorice root, alpha-arbutin, 
and vitamin C in it itself. I saw results with within two weeks of brightening my pores looking more refined because there wasn't a bunch of gunk in them. And I feel like this was a huge game changer for me. As a matter of fact, it was in my game changing video. Number five is not using retinol or retin-A. I have to tell you that I recently ditched my actual tube of Trentinoin. And I was up to the 0.1%, the highest that you could possibly get. And I was using it every other day. But I was beginning to get such a strong reaction from them. I don't know if my skin had built up a sensitivity to it or what, but I had to step down to the retinol products. And I'm noticing that my skin isn't any worse for the wear. I'm still getting that rejuvenating effect. I'm getting a great turnover, cellular turnover. I feel like collagen is being built. As a matter of fact, I almost feel like it is doing better than it was doing. Now, I will show you the one that I'm using that is the absolute powerhouse that I have found. This is from Truth Treatments, and this is the Regenerating Retinol Gel. And I have this in a 5% and I have it in a 1%. And that's because, this is really pricey by the way, and I apologize, it's just, it's expensive. But the reason that I have it in the 1% and the 5% is because when I got the 5%, I almost just, my skin was so irritated and it could not handle that. So I had to step down to the 1%. Even though this is very expensive, you need so very little. So literally I touch my finger on there and that's going to do, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see how much is on my finger. That's going to do almost my whole face. And you know what? I should have said this at the beginning. All of these things are just my experience. They're what I've talked to about with my derm doctor, and I highly encourage you to talk to your dermatologist before you start any skincare regimen, because that is so very important. You have to remember to talk to your doctor and and definitely get your own skincare regimen that works for you. And I can only use this once a week or once every other week. It's that much of a powerhouse and that strong. If you can't handle that, actually, let me go on to the next mistake, which is going to work into the next products that I show you, even though they do involve, ret involve retinol. It's not combining vitamins together in your skincare. Now, I'm talking about vitamin A, which is retinol or trentinoin retin-A, and I'm also talking about vitamin C, which is an extremely high antioxidant brightening agent, and I'm talking about vitamin E, which our skin needs to repair and soothe and all those kinds of things. So a step down from using Truth Treatments and how much of an active that is on my skin, I will use The Ordinary. And I have two serums here. One is called the Ethylated Ascorbic Acid Solution. That is a vitamin C. And the other one is a Grenactive Retinoid 5% in Squalane. And both of these are oil-based. So you're gonna wanna put these on after you've done all of your other serums, or if you just wanna wash your face and use these, that's okay too. But I did notice a pretty big difference. I thought that I could step out of using the actual Trentinoin and go right into using this and be okay with using it every night. I couldn't. This ended up being very active on my skin. It was very effective. And the two together, the two vitamins, vitamins together were laid so well together and I could really tell a difference in my skin. But vitamin A or the retinols, the retinoids, those are all the things that have been absolutely 100% proven to plump up and build up collagen that we need and can penetrate down and make collagen. If you ever see any skincare with the word, this has got collagen in it, throw it away, don't even go there, because the collagen molecule is too large to penetrate our skin. All right, the last one that I'm gonna show you is the easiest one on my skin, and I am able to use this one every other night. You're gonna see a lot of City Beauty in here, and no, this is not sponsored by City Beauty. City Beauty is having 40% off right now of their, um, their site, their whole entire site is having 40% off. And I'll make sure that I leave um, my link down below and the code if you want any of it. Um, it's it's just good, good skincare and I've really enjoyed having it. But so this one is the Advanced Retinol System. It's a two-part system. So it has two pumps right here on the top. So the first pump, and I'm gonna show you this because again, look how small amount we need. 
not very much so the first side is to restore and basically it has all kinds of yummy good ingredients in it that penetrate our skin and get our skin ready for the retinol that's coming next and then the other one is renew which is the retinol side and it pumps out even less of the retinol part and so i think that's quite interesting that you need even less of that because it's an active ingredient that will still penetrate the skin and this one two step is fantastic it does have a fragrance i will tell you that it's not a bad fragrance it's not a heavy fragrance but there's definitely a fragrance in there and this has been so good for my skin the number seven mistake that i feel like we all make and i know that i made it so often is not listening to our skin and when i say that i'm talking about these active ingredients retinols vitamin c those things that can really cause a lot of irritation if your skin gets to the point where it's raw it's hurting you need to back off and you need to listen to your skin when we have a reaction to something it's usually because it's being irritated you know if you had a makeup product that you put on and it gave you hives you would back off of it and the same thing goes especially for retinols or retin-a trentanoin if you have a super bad time with it in the beginning either back down to the less potency of the of the trentanoin or skip days you might need to just be doing it once a week you might be able to do it every other day but whatever it is your skin is telling you wait a minute hold on i'm too sensitive right now i need a break give it that break and then go back to it you won't lose any of the uh, benefits that you've built up you will definitely continue to build those up your skin just needs to get used to it and it needs to do it slower than maybe someone else so don't compare yourself to somebody else number eight is first of all not using your products in the correct order and also not targeting your specific areas that you have problems with okay so the correct order is always as a rule of thumb you go from your very thinnest product up to your very thickest product so if you are using something that is like my niacinamide toner is just water basically it's the consistency of water so you're going to use that first and then the next one would be use using your serums if you're going to use a serum then that serum is a little bit thicker so you're going to use that serum next and the next thing would be a moisturizer that this moisturizer is quite thin it's going to probably run down my hand and then the last step would be anything that is in oils so you can use that you know like i talked about these being in squalane you can also use your super heavy duty moisturizers that maybe have a little bit more oil in them. I use the Sukoyaka Suhata Urea Cream. It is very thick and it's quite, kind of sticky, almost like petrol, petroleum jelly. And I know some people do use petroleum jelly for their skin barrier. Use those all last. What those do is lock in all of that wonderful, beautiful skincare that you've already used and it's going to lock it in. But if you were to use that first and then try to put your skincare on top of it, none of it's going to penetrate. None of it's going to get through. Now, along with that, you want to address the concerns that are most important to you. You have a lot of wrinkles. You have a lot of forehead wrinkles, a lot of wrinkles around your eyes, around your lips. Take that treatment, whatever it is, and you target that area first. So the majority of your skincare or whatever you're using is going to go onto that area first. If you start rubbing out here on your cheeks, it's all going to go into your cheeks and then you're going to have just a little bit for your eyes, for your forehead, where those deep lines are, you know, maybe your 11s. But if you start there, then the majority of that skincare is going to go right into those areas first. And those are the areas that are going to benefit the most from it because they're getting the most of the product. The number nine mistake is not using enough sunscreen. Now, I know I told you before that you're using too much product and you probably could use less, but now I'm telling you more is more in this instance. And I absolutely love the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer with an SPF of 46. This is what I use every single day. I have found that for my dry mature skin, this works better than almost everything that I use. And I am very, very generous with this. I usually use four to five pumps 
that's five pumps. Look, look how much is in there. Now I'm going to show you a little demonstration here on the screen of how much I use and how much goes on my face. So I'll use those five pumps on my face and I'll work those in. Then I'll use another two pumps on my neck and decollete. Now keep in mind my hands will have a lot of the product still on there, but my neck and my decollete, and if I'm wearing a shirt like I'm wearing today, I will go over my shoulders to make sure that they get done. And then I'll use one more pump and then I'll go on the back of my hands and make sure that the back of my hands are very, very covered. I feel like women don't use enough sunscreen. All right, so earlier I told you that you had to have two words. The two words are going to be fresh skin, and you can say it any way you want to in your comment. You don't have to be sneaky about it. You can just say fresh skin, and you know, go ahead and just put that down there, and that's the only comment you need to leave. But in order to win the giveaway, you have to have this comment. It has to say fresh skin, and you have to be subscribed. Okay, the very last thing, I'm gonna disclaimer one more time. Do not do this until you see your doctor and make sure that none of these interact with any medications you're taking or they're okay for you to take if you have any underlying medical conditions. This is just what I do. Now, I feel like personally that we need to take supplements to make our skin healthy. The reason that I feel like that is so very important is because you have to, and I am going to say this again, you have to, have to, have to build what you have from the inside out, not only taking care of it from the outside in. Our soil that grows our food does not have the kind of nutrition in it anymore that we need because it's used so often that it gets depleted as well. And even if they do use fertilizers back, it's not always getting the right kinds of nutrition. I was watching another dermatologist talk about the importance of using D3 and K2. Now I am D3 deficient on every single blood test that I take, which is good for all kinds of things. It's good for helping to absorb calcium, helping to balance your skin barrier. It's good for your mental health. It's good for your emotional health. Your If you have depression, which is what I have very significantly. This is my K2 supplement with the D3. K2 is something that balances our whole body's um, calcium deposits. He explains it better than I ever could. That's the reason that I am on this. And then here's that City Beauty creeping up again. I take City Beauty's Complete Skin Restore. Promotes firm, smooth, radiant skin. It has some amazing ingredients in it, and I absolutely love this. I, and my hair is growing like a weed. And I have, you know, I cut it so, so short, and I recently just cut two more inches off of it to keep it at its length, but it's growing so fast. And this is the reason. My fingernails grow really fast. It, My skin just looks so much better and so much more radiant i feel like with that but here's the three things that i heard about from another dermatologist he had a set of twins came in come into his office that were identical twins and he thought they were mother and daughter because the one twin looked like she was in her 70s and the other twin looked like she was in her 40s and then he tried to delve deeper and figure out why the younger looking twin looked so young. And it was because in where she was living at the time was in Europe. And she had found that these three things that she was taking at the time were really helping her with her joints and her bones. She had osteoporosis and she was just really trying to grasp at things that might help her. And her husband got on it. He was feeling better. So this is not only good for women, it's good for men too, but it's a powerhouse for the way our skin reacts and also our hair. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to have all the scientific jargon about what these three things do, but I will share with you what I do and know about them. The number one thing is my depression. I have noticed a huge, huge difference in my depression. And I've also noticed a big difference in the plumpness of my skin and how I feel like my skin just springs back. It has that bounce to it that you get. So I feel like these are really doing that job. Now, let me tell you the very first thing is a collagen supplement. Um, this is from Vital Vitamins. It's a multi-collagen complex. It says boosts hair and nails growth, skin enhancement, and joint support. It has types 1, 2, 3, 5, and 10 of collagen in it. It has no, It's non-GMO, it's lab verified, and it says that collagen complex formula is vital for healthy hair, skin, and nails, 
promotes healthy digestive function, supports joints, bone, and cartilage health, and helps protect cardiovascular system. So that is, it says it's keto-friendly, non-GMO, made in the USA. The next one is Crebubble, Crebubble, something like that. Liposomal hyaluronic acid, 1,000 milligrams per serving. And what this says about, about liposomal is it's a super high level, but the molecule is smaller as well, so that our bodies can digest them and absorb them as we're going along in our day. It says hyaluronic acid acts as a hydrator, plays a vital role in the skin, hair, nails, and joints. This is all about the plumpness of our skin. Holding in water, hyaluronic acid that we put on our face, it holds in the water. It holds it to our skin, draws it to our skin. Same thing. This is going to hold the water. We're going to retain the water. I shouldn't say retain the water because if you're somebody that's on water pills, you're going, I don't want to retain water. It just puts the water into the cells where it's supposed to be. Last one that I'm going to talk about is saw palmetto. This is um, agobi something like that, premium saw, saw palmetto. And this is extra strength and it says it supports urinary health, supports healthier hair. Not only does it have the saw palmetto, it has ashwagandha root, which is really good for adrenal fatigue and for depression, turmeric, which is excellent for any sort of anti-inflammatory. You know, if you have joints that hurt or you know, you have different parts on your body that are inflamed, it's a good anti-inflammatory. Um, holy basil black pepper uh, i can't say half of these nettle leaf ginger root green tea it has a ton of really good ingredients in it and i just have been enjoying this so much and you only need one capsule of this a day and they do give this to men with prostate problems but then they found out how good it was for women's health as well especially their joints and their hair because it balances out the testosterone levels so it's not going to make your testosterone level go real high and you're going to grow hair where you don't want to. It's just going to help balance that out. So that is the last of the supplements. And that is the very last one on the mistakes as well. So hopefully that was helpful to you. I know it was a very long video and I apologize for that, but at least you get an idea of what I feel like is super duper important for all of us. So let's get a dialogue going in the comment section below. Are there things that you maybe don't agree with with me? Are there things that you completely agree with? Are there things that you were like an aha moment for you, possibly for your skincare. You are all doing very well, happy and healthy. I love you so much. Thank, thank you for your support and I'll catch you again in my next video, my friends. Love you bunches. Bye-bye.